The elephant bird existed around a thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. okay? Sounds good. The woolly mammoth existed up to, up until they found out about 10,000 years ago, mm -hmm. right? In that one little island up in the Bering Sea that where they survived longer than everywhere else. Well, we all know, we've talked about it a lot. In fact, I'm wearing one of their shirts. Colossal is working on bringing them back. That's right. Yesterday, they announced something very cool that I personally have known about for probably four months and been keeping a secret. It's secrets. I didn't want to keep it a secret because it's so cool. Yeah. What they've done as a proof of concept to show what they're going to do, because we've talked about this before, in order to make a mammoth, they take an elephant, and they give it mammoth traits. They put mammoth DNA in it, right? They give it longer tusks, a big shabby coat, make it cold tolerant. Well, they've done the same thing, sans tusks, to a mouse. That's right. Introducing the, the world's first woolly mice. The, and boy, are they cute. Oh, my goodness. This has been, I, I've seen this all over social media. All right. Okay. So they, on this picture, we have a regular mouse on the right. Yep. And the woolly mouse on the left, which the, is. <laughs> yeah. The same, so these are like the test subject animals, right? So yeah. you have the regular one and that's what their offspring look like once they've <laughs> genetically engineered them. So they basically created a gerbil, but reg <laughs> regardless of that, it yeah. is, it is a very, very cute thing. So these are now very fluffy, cold tolerant mice. The cold tolerance thing's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, but no tusks. No tusks. No, dude, no if they had tusks. some tusks on that bitch. Um, oh my goodness. That would some be guy incredible. sent me an AI thing he did. It's pretty cool. I could send it to Kyle of the mice turning into mammoths and growing tusks. Man. Um, but yeah, they're they're really darn cute. I mean, that's all there is to the news. Like you can you can dig into it as much as you like, but it's just a proof of concept. So what did they t what did you think and what did they say when they told you about this four months ago? Were you like, is that that's silly or like that's incredible? It's it's not gonna work. It'll be it'll no, look really cool. Okay, so the first thing I said was, can I have a pair? To which they said <laughs> yes. So oh. one day I will get a pair of woolly mice. Um, <laughs> and the second thing I you know said, well, I knew they'd been working on it for a while. While. Like I've spoken right. to Beth Shapiro about, it. I've spoken to Ben Lamb, like all the main people, Matt James, and we've talked about this because it is a proof of concept, right? Mm -hmm. They need to show you can't just take an elephant and make a big hairy elephant and be like, ta-da! I mean, <laughs> yeah, you can, we, but right. a, a more natural progression is to be as we've always done through clinical trials and human testing. Like, do it on mice, show that it works, show mm -hmm. that it cures cancer, show that it grows hair, show that it can hang out in the Arctic. These suckers have already been in the freezer. You know what I mean? And they're doing just fine. That's so crazy. It's pretty cool. So I knew they were working on it. And I knew that this generation was being born and that they were going to announce it and all of that. And I was very excited because at the end of the day, it just looks like a gerbil. So I was like, I don't know if the world's going to care or find well, it but interesting. The fur texture the is, story behind it. The fur texture is unlike any sort of mouse-like thing that I've seen. It's a very clearly different fur texture. It looks like a mammoth. Yeah. It looks yeah. like a tiny little so mammoth. It's, it's worth noting that what they... So they've identified 85 different genes and what they think they did for the mammoth, right? Yeah. Like fur yeah. texture, cold tolerance, and whatnot. And so they, they injected some of the genes into mouse embryos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then these fucking things were born. So, dude, this is... Remember when CRISPR came out? It was, like, huge news. This was done yeah. with, like, CRISPR. Yeah. And, like, this is now... Well, they've actually probably done other things with CRISPR, but I feel like this is the biggest news I've seen with like what they've actually produced with CRISPR other Dude, than the people are doing some fucking shit in their garages. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now some weird stuff. I've seen it. It's pretty, you have. Yeah. What have you, what have you seen? Like a guy, uh, a, a company was trying to make a documentary about basically like, basement and garage crisper people yeah. and all the weird shit they're doing. The tech Did is we work so on that together? Because I saw a crazy thing on that. With the, are you thinking of the glow in the dark dog? Thing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do remember. I think we talked touched on I this. I don't know, a remember bit. why yeah. it's in my brain. What but. he must have injected like some bioluminescent Yeah, GFP, thing. green fluorescent protein from jellyfish. Okay. Do you guys have any idea you might not, this could be go nowhere, how CRISPR actually works? No. Zero. None whatsoever. I feel that, like that's like asking me, like, could you build a cell phone? <laughs> I, but it's like, uh, what do they, they must just, it's under a microscope and they have some kind of automation that goes in and, and literally just removes a piece, like a tiny piece of a microscopic chro chromosome, a gene, which I don't, what is a gene? I'm it's sorry, like a, a sequence know? of like protein. Like, okay. I think. I mean, I'm sure we sound like idiots because probably most of the people that are listening know more about it than we do. Well, comment down below if you know well, how it, CRISPR works. So it's saying be here, uh, what it transcribes. So it CRISPR yeah, spacer we sound like idiots. sequences <laughs> trans. Yeah, I don't fucking well, know. Forests, okay. forests don't read so well. No. <laughs> Well, I'm, try I'm trying to understand it as I read it, but it's to do with the mRNA and how they space it and then put other stuff in to make DNA. But I don't right. understand it. I mean, I'm not even but pretending I do. The, like, through YouTube, mm -hmm. I think you can... 
some of the people that are doing this stuff are just like, they're not scientists. Right. They're CRISPR influencers. Yeah. <laughs> they're the, gene the one influencers. that I saw that blew my mind, which may be the same thing you saw. I don't remember. I don't, I don't know why this is in my mind, but you can buy these like black web or dark web, whatever it's called. Like, you know, the, the nefarious internet. Yeah. yeah CRISPR dark web. kits. Oh, yes. wow. You know, so you buy a kit and it like ships to your house from some fucking loon that puts it together in his house. <laughs> yeah. And then it has all the pieces of the puzzle in it. And then it's like, have fun with your CRISPR. Wow. And this guy was literally when when Pat says it's not scientists, this guy was living in a trailer park. Mm -hmm. Dead serious that we I saw, saw the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where I don't know what this is from. But this guy was living in a trailer park and he basically made glow in the dark dogs. Well, so, I mean, you picture like you can have just like when you're making meth. Not that I know how you can have <laughs> just like when I was making meth, <laughs> you can have trailer park meth, which is a glow in the dark dog. Yeah. And you can have like colossal meth, which is True. which is a woolly mammoth pharmaceutical without tusks. company. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right. Sure. <laughs> um, anyway, I think wow. I think the woolly mice are really exciting. I don't know if or when I'll ever actually get a pair, but I'm excited at the prospect that I will. 